you can clarify whether anybody has in fact applied for the post of psychiatrist in the Defence Forces. I understand the previous position was that of a Lieutenant Colonel, which has a pay grade of about 60 to 70,000 euros. Now, that would probably be about half what a consultant psychiatrist would expect in the HSC. Perhaps you could address if that is a part of the issue in terms of attracting these psychiatrists. Um, obviously, the Defence Forces are under huge mental strain in the normal course of their duties. They're in very strenuous situations, often very dangerous environments. PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, is very common among soldiers. It's something that is very treatable but needs early intervention. The importance of the availability of a psychiatrist on hand to soldiers at the earliest point is obviously critical. We know from the workplace climate in the Defence Forces the kind of stresses and the strain the soldiers are under, and the Defence Forces in terms of the current situation where the numbers are at one of the lowest ever it's been is obviously adding additional strain to the Defence Forces. First response, Minister. The right entering competition for the position of military psychiatrist was launched on 26 of July 2018 and closed on the 30 of December 2018. No applications were received for this competition. Uh, further options have been under consideration as to how to proceed. In this regard, I have recently given the approval from my department to conduct a uh, competition uh, for a contract as a civilian psychiatrist, and it should be, however, be noted there is a, a, a nationwide shortage, as you have stated. stated. Um, my proposal that, uh, <coughs> that I did, the, the, the proposal I approved uh, before Christmas has gone to um, uh, Department of Public Expenditure and Reform uh, deeper um, for their final uh, sign off. And as you've stated, uh, that the salary that was, uh, that was on offer at, at, at this stage is only half of what may be on offer within the private sector, within the HSE or whatever. And that is, um, maybe one of the, that is probably the main reason why, is why we didn't have any applications apply uh, for uh, the position on that, uh, on that um, occasion. But I've outlined, Deputy, uh, that uh, we have absolutely um, all the backup services uh, that are required for members of the Defence Force are there. And let me also state that the PSS, uh, the personal support services that we have in place for members of the Defence Forces, both serving Can members in Ireland here and serving members uh, overseas, is Deputy absolutely excellent. And uh, I compliment them the work that they do. Thank you, Minister. Obviously, our members give very loyal and determined service for this country, and they deserve the best supports that they can be given, and that includes the availability of a, of a psychiatrist. We hear a lot of reports uh, from the Defence Forces about the poor pay and conditions they're currently working in. Has the Minister looked into the situation is that not only is the pay situation in terms of uh, being a difficulty in attracting a psychiatrist, but in a lot of general mental health services, there is a difficulty in terms of conditions and supports and the facilities for psychiatrists to carry out their work. Are the proper facilities in place to attract a psychiatrist into the services and the necessary supports around that? Also, has the Minister contacted the HSE? We know where there's difficult situations in terms of attracting a psychiatrist. The HSC will put in emergency situations where a psychiatrist working in another part of the HSC will provide cover until a psychiatrist has been found. That, for example, is happening in the child psychiatric services in Wexford at the moment. Has the, Defense, has the Minister for Defence contacted HSE if they can provide cover until such time as a psychiatrist can be attracted to the position within the Defence Forces? 